Hello, this is uh, Uncle Milo. Uncle Milo explains number seven. This is a no trace cooking base. Actually, it's a film can no trace hobo stove cooking base. Okay. All started when I started with my hobo stove. You'll see that in Uncle Milo explains number four how to make a hobo stove. Now, this thing is actually a cooking implement, it runs for a long time, and it gets hot. Now, we're out in the woods, woods all around, and what you got to do is you got to put it in some place safe. Problem is, where are you going to find a rock in the woods around here? Very hard to find. So what I did was, I came up with an idea, okay? Searched and searched. Just like this hobo stove took two years to perfect the design, it took me two years to figure out how to run a hobo stove, how to cook with it without burning the forest down. You know, you go over, you find a stump, you put on a stump, you think, oh boy, I've solved my problem. Stump's made out of wood. You're going to light a fire on the stump, so not so good. So. After a long time, it took me a lot of research, came up with the Film Can No Trace Hobo Stove Cooking Base. This, I'm going to show you how to make one and how it works. All right, it's a couple of different sources you can get them. One is eBay. I love going on eBay. This says Kodak Company. This can made in USA by Eastman Kodak Company. Beautiful. This is a uh, 11 inch model, got your 14 inch model, gorgeous. You don't want anything smaller than about 10 inches. Problem is, you're going to have runoff on the side, you're going to have stuff going to come off the side, you don't want it to go off on the side and give you any trouble, so it's got to have some distance. They sell 8 inch diameter cans, no good. So, unfortunately, you go on eBay, it's hit or miss. Also, there are some of these cans, you actually get them and they're sold on eBay as collector's items. They're used for TV shows, commercials, uh, whatever. And you don't want to run them because when you whatever's on here is going to get burnt right off. You don't want a collector tin. You want something you're going to use practically. And so I also found that there's a place called Hollywood Megastore and um, they sell cans, um, gold and also silver. The only problem with them is that the Hollywood's Megastore cans made in China are not plated, they are painted, and that's an, an issue. So what I'm going to have to show you is uh, how you actually take and make one of these things so that it's safe. If you don't, if they're painted, this is what happens. This is what happened when I burned it. I took a one hour test, kept the hobo stove blazing for an hour, and it literally caused a problem there. It's normally supposed to be clean, nothing underneath. And what it does is it doesn't light anything underneath. And you're going to have some, like if you put it on grass, the grass is going to get cooked, but it's not going to light on fire. You want this to be a no trace thing. You put it right in the leaves, which we're going to do in a little while, and it doesn't start any kind of a fire. You want to put it on dry grass, it doesn't start a fire. Okay, you want to have, when you leave, you pick it up, you were never there. And also, you can have a fire pretty much anywhere you want. It's, now you're not limited to where you're going to be. So. The Kodak cans, the reason why I love them so much is inside, they're plated. Now this is the top, it got burnt a little bit, but the bottom, the plating reflected the heat out, no problem. The Chinese made can, a little bit different, it's paint. So, I'm going to show you what you do. On the inside, this is the bottom where the heat literally cooked the paint and caused the heat to come right through. Not a good thing, the, the dry grass I put underneath got a little scorched, didn't start a fire but still wasn't safe. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay, here's the trick. We're going to modify this film can, brand new film can, right from Hollywood Megastore. And uh, this is a silver one, but it's painted. The paint means it's going to have a problem unless we shield it. So, take it out. Take it out of the plastic and um, looks nice, but we've got to determine which side's going to be up. I think uh, since the bottom's a little bit smaller, I'm going to have this. This will be the top. Open it up. I want to do four sheets of aluminum foil. So, okay, what you want is heavy duty aluminum foil. Heavy duty. It's a heavier grade. We're going to make, take it out by measuring it. We measure it here. Fine. Well, that's one. I'll go ahead and fold it up. So we know we have the right length approximately. That's two. I'm going to have three. 
fold it up, and then we'll have four. So four sheets approximately, and then we're going to uh, just want to find out how big it is. You just simply push it down like that. You can see how I can sort of see the edge around. Let's take the scissors real quick and cut it up. Okay, after I cut it up, I have four sheets. I tried two sheets, worked great. I think four sheets is better. And you're going to push it in. You want it to stay down. If it works its way to the top, it will burn through. I've had that happen, so I want it to stay down. Push it in, close it up. We know this is going to be the top. Always have it at the top. Don't turn it over or you create a problem. And there, and we're done. Okay, so this is ready to go. This is what you get if you order it from uh, Hollywood Mega Store. And if you um, are lucky enough to get one of these old plated beauties, this is great. You don't even have to worry about that. Just remember which side is up and which side is down. All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay, here it is, leaves. Uh, I'm just going to push this down just right here like this. And uh, we'll get going. All right, you got your uh, egg, egg carton starter. Uh, I'll show you how to do that at some point in some video, I hope. I'm not a big believer in steel. We're going to just go ahead and we're going to get this going. And uh, the main thing is to show that it's going to work. All right. Very important. This thing is going to burn. Coals are going to come out. They're going to hit the stuff on the sides. You never leave this alone. You always have to attend to it. Make sure you're here. You never leave a fire alone. You always leave a hobo. You never leave a hobo stove alone either. Always leave a hobo stove where you can see it. Don't ever trust it. You don't want the leaves lighting up. That's the important thing. Plenty of wood on the ground. The stove will get going. Now we're going to cook. Cook. A, I guess we'll do some popcorn on this. That'll do. To show you that it works. As you watch, this is going to get black underneath from the sheer heat. But it's not going to light the forest on fire. All right, this has been running for a while. We've got a uh, bit of a burn starting. Need to uh, keep on keeping this fire going. We're going to get it going pretty, going to start cooking pretty soon. Getting a nice set of coals in the uh, hobo stove. And uh, let me just show you what's going on here. You can see the base is already starting to burn quite a bit, quite badly. There's some smoldering stuff on the side. I told you it was going to kick out. That's why you want to have it, have an edge around it. The wider the edge, the better, of course, but uh, those 14 inch cans are kind of hard to come by, so this is fine. This is, there's just so much heat down there, but as you can see, forest, the forest floor unaffected so far, and when we're done, we'll show you that it's unaffected. This is really very effective because all the heat that's inside that's trying to go down to the ground is being reflected right back up into the can itself. All right, here we have uh, a popcorn popper, old fashioned kind. It's got a Bring it here, and we're gonna pop some popcorn. So, so just throw it on, and uh, oh, you don't want to put straight on; it'll smoke to the fire. So, take a couple of big sticks. Come on, move them there. You can use these sticks to move the uh, base around it too, if you need to. These are gonna burn, so I've got a few extras just in case. Put it on like this, and let's start. Heating it up. All right, and there she goes, and I'll just be uh, I'll just be throwing some wood into there as we go along.
All right, we're done. Oh, ho ho! And look at that, popcorn. Now we just gotta put this out. This will be out in a few minutes. Okay, so we're done. Pop it. Mm. Definitely good. Hey, we had a little incident here. Piece fell out, it was on there, I had to put it out. Why, I told you, don't put it unintended. This is a cooking base, it's not perfect. It's basically gonna keep the forest floor from being scorched, but it doesn't stop having a fire. You gotta be smart, some of your smarts, you gotta be intelligent, and don't make a mess of things, so. Go ahead and we'll grab some sticks and put this back in the fire where it belongs because uh, it doesn't belong up, doesn't belong down there, it belongs in the fire. So, coals there on the, on the cooking base, will just die out after a while, we can just leave them there. Okay, this fire has burned down quite a bit, it's time to put it out, you just want to let it go for a little while to put itself out, because it, this way you don't use a lot of water. I had this all the time, that's why I wasn't worried about a little bit of fire escaping. Always want to make sure you are ready to put out your fire, never use do a fire that you're not ready to put it out with. Very hot. Here are the numbers. Once it's completely out, your hobo stove will take about two minutes to cool to the touch. Your cooking base takes about five minutes. It takes a little bit longer, it's got more mass, it's just that's the way it turned out. Okay. Now, this is done. You want to just throw this into the woods, you don't want to leave it in a pile. Make sure it's thoroughly out. No smoke, no heat, nothing. And uh, we're going to just dump it over on the side in a little while. And now, here's for the big, the big part. Okay, we take this. I'm going to go dump it over here. This is where it was. A little bit warm to the touch. That's about it. You can see a place here where we had a little bit of trouble. This is ashes. That wasn't any fire, but it was just ashes coming off of there. You do have to watch that, like I said. Not perfect, but the main thing is, you won't light the woods on fire from the bottom of the base. Oh, and the bottom of the base, no scorch marks. Perfectly, perfectly, well, not completely cool. It's still a little bit warm, still cooling down. Like I said, about five minutes, but it's worked well. And, kick it around a bit, no trace camping. That's it, you're done. So that's it for Uncle Milo number seven, film cam, no trace, hobo stove, cooking base. And, uh, I hope you'll catch my other videos, see you on the flip side, and God bless you. Man, this popcorn is so good. Mmm, mmm, it's great. Okay, thank you.